of uh, I've been struggling a little bit with my photography lately so I'm mixing it up a bit so I've come down to Robin Hood's Bay and I'm just gonna have a little bit of time looking at some macro photography just to mix it up a little bit um, I'm quite inspired by a photographer called Rachel Talibert and she's absolutely fantastic and a lot of her work is really really abstract yeah so I just thought I'll mix it up a little bit and I'm going to try out her style of photography for the day. So the kit that I've got basically is just my 24 to 70, just a nice versatile lens. And the aim of the game really is just to come along the edge of the water and find interesting little rock pools, what will make the water run through. And I've been concentrating my shutter speed to about a quarter of a second a third of a second at the moment but just to get a little bit of movement in the water but to be able to grab the detail as well at the same time so it's a little bit of a blur but not too much and i'm just sort of finding interesting patterns or maybe little objects that are being pulled by the pulled by the water and just trying to grab a few shots um i have got quite a nice couple of shots and I've just been concentrating on little pools and when the water drops down it sends like a line that's just going through them and I just thought they looked really nice and I've got some seaweed uh, of all things a little bit ago as well and that looked quite nice so I'll pop them on screen for you now I'm just gonna go up and down the coast today and see what I can find really no expectations just nice chilled and enjoyable too so I hope you enjoy and in the meantime I'll pop these shots on for you now just on its way in and as I'm wandering along I'm spotting new little scenes and what's caught my eye at the moment is uh, the patterns from the waves in the sand and I've just lined up a little shot oh I think it's coming in now um, let me just get this shot so I've just lined up a little shot and I've just can't put in the corner some of these little stones what I'm waiting for is just I'm hoping for a sort of diagonal line within the image or something like that just to just to balance it off because the patterns are lovely but it's just just missing somewhere so when the water comes in it just looks absolutely gorgeous and uh, there's a couple of stones at the bottom of the composition just really sort of balance it so I'm just just gonna hang fire here yeah as soon as the shot comes I'll pop it on screen so just nice relaxed got the beach to myself and I'm not really interested in anything of the larger scenes today. I've decided that I'm going to mix it up and I'm going to go macro and I'm just looking for patterns and abstract stuff because that's the sort of mood I'm in. But as soon as this shot arrives, I'll be on screen for you now.
various patterns and I've just been playing around a little bit uh, with these. They just look absolutely stunning. I think it's just where water sort of trickled back or something or seaweed. I'm not entirely sure to be honest, but it looks absolutely stunning and I've just been sort of picking off little shots and, and just pulling them on. So absolutely gorgeous. I'm going to jump on my bike now and I'm going to go and try and find another location. So this is Robin Hood's Bay. Uh, it's just along the back slip where the boats are. So it's just where nobody else is. Because I, lo I love this part of the beach because it's just nice and quiet and you don't see another soul. So it's absolutely great. It's just, just a really nice place to, place to just gather your thoughts and just relax. But I'm going to get moving anyway and I'll, um, I'll pop a couple more of them on screen. tides in now it's uh it's got rid of all the patterns so i'm just gonna i'm just gonna get on my bike and i'm just gonna go a little bit further up the coast see if i can find another location so we've got boggle hole this way and then towards scarborough so i might just toddle along and just see what i can find yeah so i've just got a new computer i've just bought the mac studio and i thought i better get out and make a video and test out if it's capable of um, of dealing with Premiere Pro because I've killed three computers now and it's a bit upsetting so I've decided I'm going down the Mac route and hopefully uh, we won't have interruptions to the photography and uh, the videography anymore uh, I've had computer after computer just die on me so I uh, had a bad experience with Lenovo and um, Windows is no more for me. I am now part of the uh, the Apple Mac crew, as it were. Uh, but yeah, it's uh, it's good. It's good. I think we will see when I try and edit this video. But I'm going to get moving anyway, and I'm going to go and try and find another shot. 